the King's handsome equerry, Lt. Col. Jonathan Thompson, has been moved to a less public-facing role after he reportedly didn't enjoy the public attention that he'd been receiving. Lt. Col. Thompson, dubbed the hot equerry on social media, was once one of the late Queen's most senior bodyguards and now serves His Majesty. He first won over admirers at the Queen's funeral, gaining a legion of fans thanks to his brooding good looks, but shot to unintentional fame during Charles's coronation. The so-called Major Eye Candy has since regularly accompanied the King and Royal Family and even joined their procession to church at Sandringham on Christmas Day last year. But Lt. Col. Thompson was noticeably absent on Tuesday when Charles had his meeting with Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. A palace source has since told the Times that while he remains senior equerry to the King and the Queen, Lt. Col. Thompson will be serving in a more executive and less public-facing role. Lt. Col. Thompson's role as an equerry and officer of the royal household, who assists members of the royal family, involved assisting the king with his daily duties, standing beside him at public events, and looking after the monarch's carriages, coaches, and Rolls Royces used at state ceremonies. But insiders suggest his role has changed because he was not enjoying the public attention he received after attending multiple high-profile events with Charles. He'll now instead aid the monarch with his private affairs and carry out his duties away from the public eye. It's good for Johnny for his promotion. Johnny strikes me as a very private person who doesn't like all of the attention that he gets. Thompson's appointment is a swipe at Prince Harry, who stepped down from his duties but still claims royal privileges. Tom says Meghan Markle is not receptive to the idea of Prince Harry dumping his royal title. According to a royal commentator, According to U.S. journalist Lee Cohen, the Duchess of Sussex is concerned about the ramifications such an action could entail. The couple sparked outrage last week after unveiling a revamped website using their regal title Sussex.ac.uk in 2020 when they stepped back from royal duties, raising questions about the motives behind their apparent change of heart. Speaking on GBN America, Cohen told Nana Akua that Meghan is unlikely to want to risk losing the title as it affects her own status. He said that Harry gaining U.S. citizenship could put his Sussex title in jeopardy. I don't think Harry will likely ever pursue U.S. citizenship, he said, even though it was expressed in the Good Morning America interview that this thought has crossed his mind. Meghan was U.S. born and able to accept the title through marriage, but the title conflict arises if one elects to go through the process of U.S. citizenship application, which would jeopardize the royal status. None of that makes Harry and his wife relevant or interesting. I don't think that Meghan will let him do that in case it affects her own status. Harry spoke out last week on his father's cancer diagnosis in an interview aired on ABC's Good Morning America, where he suggested a royal reconciliation could be in the offing. In the interview, it was suggested a family illness could have a reunifying effect, and when Harry was asked, is that possible in this case? He replied, yeah, I'm sure.